Today's video, I'm gonna show you the best Blitz in Madden 24. This is post-patch. Wanna give you a little game clip just to show that it works a little bit better in game than it is going to in practice mode. And we'll talk about the setup here in just a second. But what you'll see here is we've got a five-man pressure. You're gonna loop right through the A-gap and able to get some pressure. So how do we do that, right? We are in the multiple defensive playbook. You can do this out of the Kansas City Chiefs defensive playbook if you want to. And uh, there's just one key basically to making, actually, I think kind of two. Uh, there's really two keys to making making uh, this blitz work well. If you guys want to get my entire defensive ebook on the dollar defense, we actually dropped a massive update to it this morning with the best blitzes post patch as well as how to run the defense post patch. So if you want to get access to that, completely revamped, revitalized the defensive ebook, you get all of the ebooks by being a Patreon member and the link to sign up for that is going to be in the description. For just 10 bucks, you're going to get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks. All right, guys, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put a safety here. A couple things. We're going to have auto flip defense play call off. Everything else pretty much up to you, whatever you want to do outside of that. And then we are going to be coming out in the free safety zone blitz. And what you're going to do is you are going to pinch your defensive line. You're going to press your defense. And then you are going to zone this safety. Now, this is how the blitz used to be ran. And this is a very good version of the blitz. Sometimes this will still work. Didn't work right there. Sometimes it will still work. Okay. But the best way to run this blitz post patch is to actually go ahead and manually back off the slot corner that is on the right side of the screen. So the way you're going to do that is you're going to hit Y or triangle. You're going to hit X to create or select the individual uh, receiving threat. And you need to select the slot receiver. So the R1 button, and you're just going to hit up on the left joystick and you're going to back him off. Do this a couple times. Your muscle memory will get this down and it will be really easy. And I, like I said, I know in practice mode, not as good. Practice mode is not going to do this blitz justice. But just know that this blitz does work really, really well in game. Obviously, that's why we showed you the clip. And I'll show you the five-man version of it here in just a second. Let's we'll see if we can get this four-man to come in this time. Kind of close. The guard is still kind of sliding over. They tried to patch this blitz. 100% uh, tried to. Now, uh, one other thing, a couple other things you can do. So if you don't, if you don't like this uh, four-man version of the blitz, go ahead and just blitz the slot corner on the left side. So everything's the same, except we're just going to add a step and we're going to blitz the slot corner. As you see now, the blitz comes through the A-gap, even though my guy got randomly just mauled the left tackle. Not going to happen in game. It's kind of just some flukiness of practice mode right now. Uh, practice mode is really fluky post-patch. It always is. And um, anyway, so you'll see here, boom, and the A-gap comes in screaming, okay? Honestly, this is the best version of the blitz. If you want to get pressure in Madden 24 post-patch, all you got to do is send five, and you need to do it out of this. The reason we want to be in dollar over other defenses is because it gives us the most amount of coverage options as well as the most amount of blitzing threats. That's what makes it so good, okay? Um, so you really want to be in dollar if you can at all help it. If you don't want to manually back off your slot corner, I wanted to give you kind of a trick that you can do to kind of save yourself a, a couple of adjustments. So let's say you, you're watching the video, right? And you don't want to have to do the manually back off the slot corner, but you want the blitz to still work. Go into your coaching adjustments, turn on baseline, and then come back out in free safety uh, zone blitz. And literally all you're going to do is you are going to pinch your defensive line. You're going to zone the safety that came down and you're going to blitz the, uh, the corner. So you see this is what it looks like. This right here will still work post patch. As you see, you get an absolute screamer. Now, I'm going to take it one step further for you guys. Um, if you want to send five out of this, just pinch your defensive line. That's it. Don't do anything else. Just pinch your defensive line 100%. And what you'll see is you will scream right through the, the, B gap, or the A gap. These are a couple different variations of the defense. Why do we not need to back off the slot corner? Well, because when we come out in base alignment, he's already a couple of yards off the ball. And that's really all you need. You just need him off of the line of scrimmage. And as you see, we're just going to scream every single time. Okay. Now, how do, you how do you block this blitz, okay? I know a lot of people want to know how to block this blitz. Post-patch, certainly want to give you some resources on that. So just slide your line to the right, block your running back, and normally this will pick it up. Actually didn't pick up the slot corner pressure. That's kind of crazy. So we'll try, uh, we'll try a couple other things. One thing you can do is you can also just slide left, slide right, try, try those, block your running back here, and you see, pick it up, okay? So it's not a hard blitz to pick up. Just know your slide protections, slide left or slide right based on your formation, block the running back. Normally that's going to be plenty to pick this blitz up, um, this five man at least. Now if you want to send six, a um, little bit of a different story, and you could, you could literally do this right here if you really wanted to send some heat, and you'll see 
he'll come right through the B-gap. So, anyways, uh, this is a fun little defense, guys. I think it's the best blitz in the game post-patch. You can certainly get this four-man pressure to come in. So I, I really, you know, I really would advise, you know, testing this out a little bit more in game. But generally speaking, this is probably the best blitz in the game post patch. If you guys want to get my entire defensive ebook on this formation, join the Patreon. Link to sign up for that is going to be down in the description below.